How's it going everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. So this is a, a creative edit. This isn't something that you're gonna to apply to all your footage. Like you're like, ah oh, man, the sky is, is blown out. Let me, just, let me just replace it with another sky. I mean, that's some next level stuff. What we're gonna do here is a more creative transition kind of uh, something to add to your travel films. Have fun, you know? This, is, this channel is all about having fun. We're just having fun, that's it. Just me and you and we're having fun, that's it. All right, so what I've done is I've selected two clips. I have a time lapse from Joshua Tree that is super grainy down here, but we're not gonna worry about that. And then I've got a clip of me um, flying my drone in Oceanside and I've already selected a point the sky is is completely fogged out marine layer so i'm not interested in this clip so let's try to make it a little bit more interesting all right so drop in the clip that you want to have the sky replaced below the clip that you're replacing the sky with so i'm going to use this this sky on top and then this on bottom so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head into your effects panel and lower the opacity just so you can see where you're working with um, on your sky. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of line up where I think I would like the sky to be. I kind of want it to be around here. This is where the, the fog ends. So what I'm gonna do is go out to about 50%, kind of see where I want it. Yeah, that looks good around there. What I'm gonna do is go over to opacity, click on the pen tool here, or the free draw bezier, whatever they want to call it. It's a pen tool. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a kind of not exactly straight, just a little, little, uh, little line here. I can either go up or below. I'm just going to go up for this one. If you select it below, you can just click inverted and then you'll get that. So just stay above. <laughs> just, just, just stay over here. All right. So what I'm going to do now is go back to fit so I can see where it's being affected. Okay, so it's, it's right around here. What I'm gonna do is a lot for a little bit of feathering. I'm gonna drag the feather to around 76 for this. This is where you can get, where you can play around with it and really apply it to your thing. And what I'm gonna do is bring the opacity back up to around 90. All right, so that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna make my time lapse a little bit quicker. All right, so it looks pretty flat right now. What I'm gonna do is add a um, LUT on top of this. So I'm gonna go into my Lumetri color, creative, and then, um, doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna pick one. That's not black and white. <laughs> uh, let's go with that one, that one actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so with this technique, a like more appropriate thing to do is to use a lot over both of them so you kind of get like the same sort of uh consistency throughout it's really about fine tuning from this point on i'm actually going to bring it down a little bit more yeah that looks good and then let's play it through This is a fun thing to do with drone footage and time lapses and a, a really interesting way to kind of bring your footage to a little bit. Just have fun with your footage and this is the before. And this is the after. And this was a very easy, simple way to replace the sky using Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you can take these tools and better your craft. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys in the next one.